Spike Lee is on a bit of a hot roll, of course. He won an Academy Award, I believe, for, for writing for uh, Black, Black Klansman. Klansman. Yes. Black Klansman, by the way, I thought was the second best movie of the year last year. So good. It's fantastic. And Spike Lee got his, I believe it was his first nomination ever mm -hmm. for Best Director for Black Klansman. So what's his next film going to be? Well, obviously... It's going to be a hip-hop version of Romeo and Juliet. It could be more natural. What? <laughs> uh, apparently, it's now being reported that Spike Lee has solidified what his next film is going to be. Now, it's described. It's going to be called Prince of Cats. And it's based on a graphic novel of the same story. And according to the reports that were reading, it says it would be set in the 1980s hip-hop scene and tell the classic star-crossed love story from the perspective of Juliet's angry cousin, Tybee. Whose, uh, whose underground sword fights with rival Montague clan in the People's Republic of Brooklyn brought blossoms into a vibrant world fueled by music and dance. Now, actor Lakeith Steinfeld, who I really like, and by the way, he's going to be in uh, Knives Out here that we're all going to see yes. in just a couple of weeks. Uh, he was at one time attached to the project. He is no longer attached. Maybe he gets attached again with Spike Lee being there. I don't know. Now, look, I'm going to admit something. On the surface, this looks stupid. I mean, it looks and sounds stupid. And that was my first reaction was, really, Spike? Really? This is what you're going to do? But then a thought occurred to me. And that thought was one word. Hamilton. Because mm -hmm. I've gone to see Hamilton. Hamilton's awesome. So good. Now, if you had told me, want to go see a hip-hop version of the Founding Fathers? Right. <laughs> What? I saw Hamilton, and it's incredible. And if Spike Lee... Now, look, I, I don't know what's in Spike Lee's head right now, Chris, but if what Spike Lee has in his mind is taking a classic tale and kind of applying a Hamilton treatment to it, mm -hmm. well, listen, it doesn't mean it's going to work, but we've seen it can. Yeah. And in the hands of a director like Spike Lee, who, look, I've never been the biggest Spike Lee fan, but oh my mm -hmm. God, I love what he did with Black Klansman. If he can capture some of that and bring some of that essence into a Romeo and Juliet story, mm -hmm. it you know what? It actually could be interesting. You hear about this story. What are your first thoughts? I mean, my first thought initially was, why? I hate mm. Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> I hate that play. I think it's one of Shakespeare's worst works. It's just about horny 14-year-olds. Uh, but Spike Lee, that makes me excited. And then I went and looked up what this Prince of Cats comic is like, and the art looks incredible. So the first thing I'm going to do, honestly, is just go run over to House of Secrets and see if I can order this. Right. <laughs> and, and check that out and see what I'm getting into. But I think you nailed it there with the Hamilton idea of we've seen something like this work. And in Spike Lee's hands, I think he could really, really do something here. And I love that you brought up Hamilton, too, because all I could think of was Aaron telling us that story about Tom going, uh, it's some musical. I don't know. Oh, about, yeah, that's like, right. It's about democracy in the United States. I don't want to go see them rap. I just I think it's so funny. But I think I think it has potential. I'm cautiously optimistic. Yeah, I, I think that's exactly where I'm at now, too. Mm -hmm. When I thought about that, it's like, okay, now I'm cautiously optimistic. By the way, just uh, some of you might be wondering, hey, it's Thursday. Why isn't Aaron here? Yeah. Now, I, I don't know if she's allowed to say what it is. But she, she vaguely on Twitter. She okay, so we'll be vague, too. So, uh, but Aaron booked another t TV show. So she's off shooting another TV show. So she couldn't be here mm -hmm. today. So she sends her apologies. But she'll be back. Don't yeah. worry. She'll be back. And wherever she is, she's pantsless. Yeah, the, probably. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just how she likes to travel. Yeah. Question here is, guys. What do you think about this idea of a Spike Lee directing a hip-hop version of Romeo and Juliet set in the semitones of a 1980s Brooklyn? I soured on it at first, but the more I think about it, the more I'm warming up to it. How do you guys feel about it? Jump down to the comments section below and let me know your thoughts. All right.